I just got home. As you saw, I worked out. I went to my agency this morning. Then I went grocery shopping. I went to this like all organic store. So everything you buy there is very healthy, organic. And now I'm gonna go shower and get ready and probably gonna head out for dinner somewhere. I wanna explore new places because I've been eating at the same place almost every single day. It's called Honest Greens and I just love it. But now I'm starting to get sick of it. Like it's very repetitive. So I'll try to go for a walk, evening walk. If it's not raining, hopefully. Hopefully not. I had breakfast this morning and I had a smoothie after my workout like a protein shake and I had a little snack when I got home like coconut yogurt with some fruit. I still don't know what's the plan for the next week. I never know literally till two days and one day before. I just know Thursday and Friday I definitely have a shoot. I just don't know which one I have which day. Also I have no clue for how long am I staying in Spain. I might go back to Monaco next week. Maybe I'll extend. Maybe I'll go to Barcelona. I don't even know, but I'm just updating you guys with the information that I know so far. I'm gonna go get ready now and then I'm gonna see what's the plan for the rest of the day. Going to my favorite burger place for dinner now and I might go for a walk after. I'm really hungry. I need to eat something. <laughs> shoot it was very quick we shot maybe two and a half hours or so so i'm gonna have more photos from my portfolio which is great and i think they look very good so last night i came up with the most random idea ever because i'm free this weekend and on monday i don't have anything i decided to make a short trip to some other town or city in spain but then I figured out the best option would be to go to some tropical island, be there for two days, tan, enjoy the beach, and just have the best time ever alone. <laughs> because I don't want to sit in Madrid when it's raining every day, because it's going to be raining for the next seven days. I don't know why it's going to be cold. So I just want to be in the sun. I want to tan. I want to be on the beach. Literally last night, I found a hotel. I found the flights. And I emailed my booker this morning just to make sure I'm 100% available to just go somewhere that I don't have anything in Madrid. And he gave me the green light. So I am going to an island called Lanzarote. Or in Spanish, I think you would say Lanzarote. I don't know exact pronunciation because everyone says it differently. But I'm super excited. My flight is tomorrow night. I'm going to be there Sunday, Monday, full day, and in the morning on Tuesday, I'm flying back to Madrid. So this was very, very random. I was looking at Ibiza, I was looking at Barcelona, I was looking at some other places that have a beach. This was the most convenient and the best option, and I'm so happy and so excited. When you're a model and you're just alone most of the time when you travel, you need to come up with things to do and entertainment especially if you don't have friends around and currently i'm alone i don't know anybody here so i'm just gonna go on a solo holiday mini holiday trip and honestly i don't mind it i'm just gonna be on the beach the whole day maybe i'll go do some sightseeing i don't know depends if i'm in the mood for it so currently i'm packing i don't know if i'm gonna work out today i think i'm gonna leave that for tomorrow because today i just 
don't feel like doing it i don't really have to pack a lot of things but i want to pack some outfits for my instagram content and maybe i'll make some tiktoks i don't know i just want to use my time there in the best way possible just to rest relax tan make some content have a good time and also of course i'm gonna be vlogging there so you're gonna have a separate vlog from that trip i don't have any specific plans for the rest of the day i think i'm just gonna stay in pack do the things i need to finish before i go i'll update you a bit later when i figure out what i'm doing today i went to sephora yesterday and i forgot to show you what i got i needed to restock on a few things so the first thing i got is this face mist which is absolutely incredible whenever i would buy a face mist i didn't like it because it didn't do anything for my skin and this is the first one that actually shows results my skin feels so soft, so bright, looks glowy and I highly recommend. I always bought like mini sized bottles because I like to use them for travel because this is a glass bottle, it's pretty heavy and now I finally bought the full size and as you can see I already sprayed quite a lot and I feel like my skin has been healing faster from this. I don't know if it's just this or the combination of few products that I use from this brand as well but yeah, I think this is incredible and I highly suggest you try it out. Then we have these travel size bottles. I needed this spray for my body mist and this for my face mask. And then we have this little hand sanitizer, which I thought was really cute, smells incredible and I always need it for travel and just to put it in my purse whenever I need it. I ordered some dinner. This is what I'm eating. Very healthy. And I'm so hungry, I cannot wait to eat. Good morning, everyone. I'm so tired. <laughs> I went to bed really late last night, like 2.30. I just couldn't sleep. I was having fun on my phone making stickers for WhatsApp. I discovered this app and then I started making stickers of myself and my boyfriend. And I thought they were hilarious. And then I was just sending it to people that were awake. I was just having fun and then i realized it's 2 30 and i need to go to sleep because i have a workout at 12 and i need to travel today so i better get some sleep tonight so yeah now i'm having coffee i am watching some youtube videos it's 11 o'clock exactly and i'm gonna go to my workout in like 40 minutes or so and then when i come back home i need to pack sort out everything i already kind of packed a few things I don't need to pack a lot, it's just my toiletries and everything, I need to make sure I bring everything I need. I don't need a lot of stuff, I'm literally going for three nights, but I just like to have everything so I feel calm and I don't have to think about anything. I like having my stuff with me. I cannot wait to go to the beach. Um, tonight I'm gonna start a new vlog and that's gonna be separate. And today I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna go now, drink my coffee, watch some YouTube videos, get ready for my workout, and then start the day. On my way back home, I got some snacks for tonight because I'm traveling. And I just want to have a few things in my bag that I can snack on when I'm on the plane. Because on the plane, they don't really have good snacks ever. So I want to get something that's healthy and that I like eating. So first we have this 94% organic chocolate. I love dark chocolate. I literally eat it almost every single day. Um, then we have this Life Bar Coconut. It's organic, vegan, paleo bar. It's very rare that I find these like healthy bars that taste good and this one is so good especially the coconut one then i got the seaweed crispies with chili and i never tried this before so i'm gonna see how it tastes and then the final thing we have these gluten-free um rice snack with rosemary i never tried this before but it looked nice so yep I decided to get it and i usually go to this like grocery store that has everything organic so i just know whenever i buy there something it's gonna be organic and healthy and good for me and they have a lot of gluten-free stuff 
and just healthier options. I'm most likely overpacked and I have way more stuff that I need for like two and a half days literally. But because I'm gonna be by the pool on the beach, probably I'll change like two times a day and maybe I'll have some outfits for the photos. Also, I'm an overpacker, so this is not weird for me. I always overpack and this is just normal. I'm bringing a carry-on and just packing everything in there, but I'm gonna check in my bag because I think I can bring up to like 15 kilograms and I think this is good. I just need to put a few more things in my toiletry bag and then it should be done and ready. I showered, I washed my hair again. I think this is literally the fourth time this week I'm washing my hair but it's because I had a lot of shoots and I need to wash it every single time after my shoot because they put in products and everything and then when I work out it gets super dirty because I just sweat a lot. I almost died today at my workout. Literally the last 10 minutes of my workout today were the hardest because I was pushing myself so hard and the class was hard as well. I had a lot of energy but just, the class was just so intense and I think it was longer than usual because I thought it was 45 minutes but this one seems like it was 55 or something. I scheduled my order from Uber Eats for dinner for tonight like 6.30, 7 and then 7.30 I think I'm gonna go to the airport. My flight is quite late because there were only two flights today and the other one was sold out that was like earlier flight so i'm just taking this one which is fine i think it's like three hour flight which is way longer than i thought it was i thought it was like hour and a half two hours but it's a bit longer i just realized how far south i'm actually going but i'm super excited for tomorrow tonight i'm gonna arrive to my hotel chill out shower go to bed try to wake up early tomorrow and then i'm gonna have an amazing day on the beach and by the pool and i don't know i'm just looking forward to it this was very last minute and i was debating should i even go because it's like oh i don't know i need to go to the airport and fly there and come back and just for three nights but honestly I'm so happy I decided to do this. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna start editing this vlog and then tonight I'm gonna start a new one that's gonna be like the whole vlog about this trip and that's gonna be the next one you guys are going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> 